Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so we got our nothing phone one on the 3rd of august and i uploaded the unboxing and the full review of new update nothing os 1.1.2 you can check that video from the icard actually i was planned for the unboxing and routine but because of some reasons i did not done that but today we'll see how to unlock the bootloader and root your nothing phone one without use of twrp before proceeding you need the pc which has all the latest adb and the fast boot driver installed I have given the links of the driver in the video description. You can install them using any video available at the YouTube. I have also shown how to patch the boot image of your currently running firmware nothing was 1.1.2. There are all the old boot images are given in the video description. You can first patch them and then flash it via fast boot as shown in the video. I also given the patch boot image link of the nothing was 1.1.2 in the video description. If you are on the nothing was global version, you can directly download and flash it without following the patching process. Now with the further do, let's get started. On a new adventure. So first we need to do the unlocking of the phone. This process will erase all the data so please keep the full backup of your device. Now go to the settings there, tap about phone then tap on the software info. Here you need to tap 8 times on the, your build number and it will show you the toast notification of developer option enabled. Now go back and in the main setting go to the system there now you will see the new developer option. There search for the OEM unlock toggle, enable it. Now scroll down and search for the USB debugging. Enable that toggle also. Now connect phone to the PC. Now open the CMD window in the platform tool folder in a C drive or if you have fully working ADB and the fast boot driver in the overall system of your PC, then run it through the any folder on the desktop using the shift plus right click of your mouse and select the open PowerShell window here from the drop down menu. Now type fast boot devices and enter in a CMD window of your PC. On the phone you will get the ADB prompt, accept it. Now type adb reboot fastboot. This command is used to boot the device in a fastboot mode. Instead of this command, you can also use the hardware combo to boot your device in a fastboot mode. For that power of your device, then press the volume down plus power button, phone will boot to the fastboot mode. Here you can see the status of your bootloader as a lock. We have to make this status as unlock. So in the CMD window, now type fastboot devices to check whether the device is connected properly or not. If you guess the device ID P222 something like that, then you are good to go. If no, then please check your fastboot driver installation once again. Now type the fastboot flashing unlock on the phone, you will get the two options like lock the bootloader and unlock the bootloader. Use the volume keys to select the unlock bootloader and press power button to confirm. Phone will get wipes automatically and reboots to the system with the unlock warning. That's it, you unlocked the bootloader. Now again go to the about phone and the software version, they tap 8 times on the build number, enable the developer option again. Go back to the system, developer setting, here you will see the OEM tab is grayed off and saying the device is unlocked. Now re-enable the USB debugging, now download the Magix application given in the video description. Also transfer the boot image of firmware version 1.1.2 in the phone if you have already downloaded it in the PC. Here it's not a patch boot image, I am just showing how to patch the boot image for any firmware version so if you are using nothing was 1.1.2. There is already a patch boot image given in the video description, you can use that to flash and can skip this step. Now open the Magix application, tap install from the top right corner. Now tap on the select patch file and select the boot image file. Then tap on the let's go and the Magix will patch the boot image and it will be saved in the download folder of the storage. Let's open the file manager and in the download folder we will find the new patch boot image. Rename it to the simple one for the typing in the fastboot commands. Now again boot your phone in the fastboot mode using the adb commands or the hardware key combo as shown previously in the video. Now in the same day window type fastboot flash name of the file image and hit enter. You will see the flashing successful and then type fastboot reboot and hit enter. That's it, phone will reboot to the system. Now if you open the Magix application, you will see the Magix version as the 25.2. Now to check the root access, download the root checker application from the Play Store. Open it and tap on the verify, it will ask you to the root access prompt. Accept it and you will see the green pass text with the root successful notification. So finally we rotate the brand new Nothing Phone 1 on its latest Nothing OS 1.1.2. By using this process you can root any firmware version of Nothing OS 
I will soon upload the unroot and the bootloader relock video so because of some reasons if you want to revert back to the stock original condition then that video will be helpful for them. So that's it for today guys if you think I help you then please do like and share this video subscribe to the channel press the bell icon for I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you try to stay strong and fake